The start of the season has gone well for the Chicago Bears, although fans wondered if the Bears would keep Lovey Smith as head coach, considering he hasn't had much success in the past three seasons since their Super Bowl 41 appearance. I am outside the courthouse where the McCain trial is underway. Dr. Paul Johnson has just taken the stand. Dr. Johnson, as you may remember, is a psychiatrist that was hired by the prosecution. And tonight we will be featuring the artist by the name of Joy B. Moore. Now, Joy isn't your ordinary musician. Her music is uplifting, inspirational. However, as you can see, it took just two weeks for Redskins receiver Santana Moss to prove to Washington that they got their money's worth in his trade. Moss scored two touchdowns and caught five passes for 159 yards. I'm standing here with the rock band, Punta Paya. They made history tonight. They were nominated in two categories, and they won for Best Rock City. The woman said two men approached her about doing some construction work on her house. The thieves made the repairs, but when she was doing a final walkthrough, she noticed something amiss. Custom-made items and major purchases were missing. Police say a car stopped at this green light in motion for two girls to cross, but a motorcycle traveling in the opposite direction did not stop. He hit one of the girls and was thrown from his bike. Neither he nor the girl suffered serious injuries. Lower interest rates on loans to local companies and on workforce training. One million dollars would also go to helping farmers buy seed and fertilizers. Senate leaders say they will pass the bill quickly so construction contracts can go out to bid before the spring. Yeah, this is your boy DJ Day, PDS, we back. I got my man Cool right here, DML Productions. We doing it real big here at Glorious tonight, man. Tell the people what's up, son. Well, you know, I just want to let everybody know that YB Broke Sports and Entertainment, you know, uh, brought this affair together. Yes, sir. And we're just, you know, sending you. Okay, we can't pick the Red Sox Yankees every single time they play, can we? So the White Sox A's it is. Oakland has actually had a bit of a disappointing season with a 22-21 and 21 record with a three-run differential. But they tied for first place in the AL West. The Sox, meanwhile, are a game out of first. Authorities in Kane County say a man, already in jail for bank robbery, may be responsible for a series of unsolved robberies in this area, including this 7-Eleven convenience store. 54-year-old Kenneth Peterson is serving 11 years for a New York robbery in 2005. Welcome back to Online. I'm live at the Hard Rock Cafe. This is Michelle, your host. This is Roland and Eric, and they want to be known as the regular brothers with gang. All right? Y'all came to see P. Diddy tonight? Well, kind of. We came to help P. Diddy out with a little publicity. You know, just kind of show some faces. Some Investigating a hit-and-run incident that took the life of a 47-year-old man Saturday. The victim, identified as Javier Loretto of South Bishop Avenue, was pronounced dead at Stroger Cook County Hospital. The victim was struck at 8.20 p.m. near the busy intersection of 47th and Paulina. Authorities described the vehicle involved as a gray Astrovan. The department's major accidents unit is investigating.